Hello everyone, Cheryl Ann back again today. I have time today to get all this done, so I thought I would just show you. Um, I've now glued this paper bag. Um, I did cut off, I forgot, I cut off one side here and I opened it up completely and I glued it together and this is the This is the glue, the Scotch Create. It's a permanent um, glue stick and it holds really well. I get this from Amazon. I usually buy a four pack. <clears throat> so I've completely glued it. it. It's a good glue. It's permanent. It dries well. Let's see. So this is, this is now drying. Now, if you want to make your... Um, something I forgot to mention. If you want to make your spine, like, uh, I, I don't like this crease here. So what I've done before, oh, you guys are going to faint. I have actually done this so that you don't get that flat line. I might, in fact, I might just do that now. Just put that over there. Let it dry. Then the other things, the other packing materials I was talking about, I actually bought uh, some of these. These are the Amazon yeah, Recycle Mailers. I think there's a number on here somewhere. I'm trying to find it. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. They're called M9. And you can order a pack of these. Now, these come, this is like, uh, what do you call it? Newsprint. It's all kind of mashed. It's recycled newsprint. It's kind of mashed up in there. But see, this has, I, I tore it when I opened it, but that's no big deal because I can put like masking tape over it or something else. But if you fold these again, you get a really nice, I think this is, I want to say 13. Yeah, actually about 14 inches long. And eight inches wide. But what I do here on the bottom, see this little, that's glued together. So I always cut it there and then I cut it here at the top. Now this, this doesn't need, this doesn't need any extra gluing. Except if you cut it here on the top, sorry, I wasn't in frame. If you cut it here along the top and cut that off, um, I do sew that down. It's real easy to go through your sewing machine. And then, uh, but again, this you can cut down. If you don't like it being, you know, 12 inches long, you can cut it down to nine. You can cut it down even further. You can cut some off the sides and then either glue it back or sew it. But these, listen to that. I just love that. Now, here's my sewing machine. I have a brother. It's the Project Runway. Yes, I know it has 130 stitches. How many of them do I use? Five. But um, I do have, I do have a number 14. That's my number 14 needle. And this baby is strong. See, now I bought this set of them. Um, at Hobby Lobby. This is I'm trying to read it. Yeah, 9, 11, 14, 16. I like the 14s. And then these. Oh, these I got at Hobby Lobby too. 369. And they're universal needles. And I believe they are size. I tried to get it in focus here. I think these are size 14. Um. But, you know, $3 for two, four, five. And you know what? These they these hold up really well. I, I don't think I've used a 16, but I use 14 a lot. Once in a while, I have broken one. <laughs> Believe it or not. I don't know why. I put a new one in, and then three days later, I broke it. And I don't know what I did. But those are, those are when I say number 14, it's it's... Nine would be smaller and thinner, and then look at 16. It's it's really 
thick and big. Um, 16 and 18 I think you use for denim. So I, I, I'm real comfortable with the 14 and that other packet, oops, sorry about the glare, um, is a 14. But once again, I digress. Um, we do, I do order a lot of stuff off Amazon because you know what? I just, I'm at the point, I get tired when I go out to the store. And like two stops is usually my limit. This, this is the packing paper. I think, I don't know what I got in here. Something small. And I kept it because this is the bubble wrap. And this, again, it makes really, really good covers actually yeah that's the one this one see this one is this did you see can you hear how squishy it is yeah and I can I can feel it I can kind of feel the little I can kind of feel these so you've got the Amazon packing which I just love You've got your paper bags, which are what ten cents each. There's there's another uh, grocery store here in town. They don't have all this stuff on theirs. Theirs are plain. And sometimes I'll go there just to get that grocery bags, but don't tell hubby. And then there's the Amazon, I don't know, packing envelopes. I'm not quite sure what to call these, but these are. And again, you can cut these down because this one right now I think is 13 by 13. So, you know, they can get the 12 by 12 scrapbook paper in here. Um, but again, you can you can cut this down to any any size you want. I mean, you could do 9 by 6, you could do 8 by 8. But this stuff is really good. I just I'm having trouble finding hardcover books <laughs> at the library. And um, I don't want to go up to Goodwill because they're five ninety nine each, and that seems a little stiff to me. So this is, yeah, this is with this is with the newspaper recycled envelope here, and then you've got your grocery bags, which is like this one. I think I'm, I think I am gonna leave this here in the middle because I don't like that real stiff. I don't like that real stiff line and. You know, the paper will kind of mold around. <laughs> so um, I hope this helps you. Do try to use some of these recycle materials because, you know, I hate to throw them away. And I'm at the point I'm really getting kind of thrifty here. You know, I'm using stuff. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Till next time. Bye for now.